हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयनंद सोसाइटी अ जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द बुक गुरु भक्ति योगा ऑथर्ड बाय स्वामी शिवानंद जी महाराज ऑफ डिवाइन लाइफ सोसाइटी ऋषिकेश इंडिया एंड नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिल आनंद ऑफ स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयनंद सोसाइटी कैलिफोर्निया वी आर इन सैक्रमेंटो सो इन टुडे सत्संग वी विल बी पिकिंग अप एलिवेटिंग प्रेजेंस ऑफ द गुरु words cannot adequately express the deep debt of gratitude for the wonderful transformation brought in the disciple by the miraculous spiritual power latent in the great guru and that is a mystic formula it cannot be expressed in words it cannot be written down it is simply when the guru and the disciple contact and the guru looks at the disciple or sends him the shakti path the energy through um, his voice through his talking through his satsang through his direct look through the touch all these things can be extremely mystical and powerful that transform the disciple and because the guru already has all those powers he will never advertise it he will never show and never use these things for name or fame or money he will always be humble and quiet but he has the capacity to guide sincere disciples thus such a guru is the greatest blessing truly it is said that the sadguru is god incarnate god in human form is the guru his greatness is truly indescribable therefore saint kabir says sab dharti ka gad karu lekhani sab ban rai sat samundar masi karu guru gun likha na jaye meaning if i turn this entire earth and make it paper and if i cut down all the woods of the world and make pencils out of them and if i take all the oceans and i use it as ink even then i cannot express the glory of the guru simply meaning that the glory of the guru is beyond words beyond time beyond space beyond all our expressions of gratitude it is truly indescribable guru's presence elevates and inspires the disciple with tremendous spiritual vibrations his vibrations are life changing they should come and affect you at a very subtle level and that's a inner change the greatness of guru rests in transforming the lower nature of the disciple and that is the real test of a real guru and also of your own self effort are you a real disciple if you are and you are in contact with a real guru it is not possible that you will not change transformation is a by product and a natural outcome and that change should be irreversible meaning you continue to ascend the holy path the ladder of spirituality to take refuge in the adorable feet of sadguru is the way of life that's how a disciple should be living his daily life the way of sharanagati or self surrender to guru is the way to god realization so the more we surrender the more humble we become the more compassionate kind lovable we become and we follow the guru's teachings the more closer and closer we are getting to god they are not two separate events they are one and the same none can enjoy eternal bliss unless he is having an unwavering faith in the guru unless your heart is filled with reverence and respect and you follow the teachings of the guru until then we will not be able to enjoy the bliss but once we have this qualification bliss will come in automatically whatever guru does though it may appear to be unjustifiable it is right never argue with the guru 
don't show your uh, mathematical or scientific knowledge or talk about the worldly things the guru has everything he has the knowledge to get you liberation so we should not contradict his words in the spiritual realm at all and we should be very adapting and adjusting even if he makes a mistake on the worldly side those are small insignificant things that should be brushed aside what you are getting in return is infinity unswerving and unflinching faith in the teachings of the guru is the root of real guru bhakti so guru bhakti means devotion to the guru and for that you have to have rock like faith and total surrender and dedication unless that can be done we are only average disciples if we want to be high quality we should be very pure we should we should prioritize our spiritual life guru always dwells in the hearts of his disciples so the guru always is filled with love and mercy and if the disciple is also vibrating at the same tune the same frequency he can feel the guru he can feel the guru's energy they both vibrate at the same level kabira says guru and govinda both of them stand before me to whom shall i bow blessed is the guru who showed me govinda this we all fun say guru govind dono khade kaki laghi hu paaye balihari guru aap ke govind diyo milaye meaning if guru and god both come to me i first would prostrate to my guru then to god because god would not have come without the help of the guru it is the guru who made it possible therefore o oh guru my first gratitude goes to you and god doesn't mind waiting he doesn't feel jealous or bad he is delighted to know that his representatives on earth in the form of sages and saints are doing what they are supposed to do and to bless them they come god comes in that form so therefore always revere the guru only a guru can show divine light to his worthy disciples so the underline word is worthy meaning you dedicate your entire being yourself and by um, following the teachings by offering your being to the guru guru takes his disciple from the unreal to the real from immortality to from mortality to immortality and from darkness to the light from materialism to spirituality how profound that's why we say this profound prayer asato ma sadgamaya tam so ma ज्योतिर गमया मृत्योर मा अमृतम गमया ओ गॉड प्लीज लीड मी फ्रॉम द असत असत मींस अनट्रूथ टू द ट्रूथ फ्रॉम द अनरियल टू द रियल फ्रॉम द फियर ऑफ डेथ टू नॉलेज ऑफ इमोर्टैलिटी सच इज द ग्रेस ऑफ द गुरु दैट बिस्टाउज अपॉन अ सिंसियर डिसाइपल लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ गुरु the benefactor of the world <clears throat> a real guru can change the destiny of the disciple the disciple that was filled with impurities lust anger greed passion lost in the world unhappy not knowing what the goal is once they come in contact with the guru and they are willing to apply themselves a transformation occurs and their destiny changes as a result Sadguru is a prophet and a messenger of God. He is a cosmic friend and benefactor of the world. He is a guiding star to the suffering mankind. So only such a person can be a guru who doesn't hate anyone, who has love for all 
and he is a guiding light. By serving the true Guru, the news of time is destroyed. The sacred words of wisdom of Guru enter the heart of a disciple and there is no release without Guru's grace. Guru ke bina mukti nahi milti, meaning we cannot get liberated without the grace and blessings of the Guru. Therefore, a Guru is absolutely essential on this holy journey. Although if you simply want heaven, then you don't need a Guru. If you simply want material things, then fine, you can be okay. But if you want liberation, if you want nirvana, if you want to demystify spirituality, absolutely a Guru is needed. It, he is indispensable on this path. So with this we conclude our satsang and we will continue this beautiful journey in tomorrow's satsang. Hari Om Tat Sat.